Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Tomorrow's going to be kind of rough because we've had some consistently above average temperatures. So below average temperatures for tomorrow, plus it's going to be raining most of the day. It's uh, going to be a day to spend time inside or make sure that you're wearing multiple layers uh, just appropriately for wind and rain. Tomorrow we got some spot showers right now uh, across western Connecticut. A few sprinkles here and there, but any more sprinkles or some light rain showers going to be closer to 7 o'clock. And then in terms of anything that would be measurable precipitation, any steady rain would be closer to midnight. Fast forward to just before sunrise tomorrow. We're looking at some wintry mix for the highest elevations in Connecticut. You can see how widespread the rain is at this point. So the morning is going to be the heaviest of the rain, particularly across southeast Connecticut. In fact, the rain may be heavy enough for some hydroplaning or even some visibility concerns, but really just some steady light rain, moderate rain for the rest of us through the late morning into the afternoon and into the evening. We have rain chances the entire day for tomorrow. You can see some of those bigger reflectivities across southeast Connecticut. So we will see some higher rain totals probably significantly higher across New London, closer to an inch for you guys. Wind speeds right now are coming out of the north about 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that'll be nothing compared to what is going on for tomorrow morning. It's going to be breezy out there across the shoreline, potentially up to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. And for the rest of us, looking at about 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts, especially inland, a bit calmer. And once we get to the evening, still a little bit of a breeze out there. So we will call tomorrow breezy, uh, not much wind going on for today. And once we get past that, we're looking at some rain chances on uh, Friday, just some spot showers, kind of like what's going on later on tonight. And for the weekend, we're looking at some rain chances for both days, some better rain chances on Saturday compared to Sunday. Um, but even with that, Saturday is the pick of the weekend because Sunday is going to be colder and it's going to be breezier. So not much of a wind chill factor at all for Saturday. Uh, but a little bit of a better chance of seeing some rain. Temperatures right now are only in the 40s. We started in the 20s earlier this morning, and that's going to be our high temperature for tomorrow. So it's not that bad outside right now, but you include the rain and the wind. It doesn't feel as good as it does right now. Low temperatures for tonight dipping into the 30s, but not quite 32 degrees, which is good. So the only place we're looking at any of that snow, uh, sleet, or some freezing rain potential would be in Litchfield County before sunrise. Looking at the seven day forecast, uh, remember that we got some cold temperatures on the way for tomorrow. And then once we get to Friday, 58 degrees, nearly 60. So a big rebound on Friday, 54 on Saturday. Go with some rain chances breezier on Sunday and Monday. And look at those temperatures getting below freezing for Monday morning and Tuesday morning. So Friday looking pretty good, Saturday looking pretty good. And then we're in store for some chilly weather starting for the end of the weekend.